Okay, guys, let's do the very last part of this C2 paper then, 9 part B. It says calculate the area of the shaded region. So here's the shaded region, PQR. Yeah. Um, giving your answer to correct to one decimal place. So what's this area here? This is a right angle. So if we know that length, we'll be able to find the area of the whole triangle. We should be able to find the area of the sector, shouldn't we? So it's just a matter of taking one from the other, I think. So let's go back to what we've written then on our part and do part B. So what have we got here? We need to work out this length here. Yeah, basically we've got a triangle. I'll put it over here. We've got a right angle triangle, haven't we? That's four. That's a right angle. This is 1.3 in radians. Yeah, so we need to find out this side here. And this is P. This is R. This is O. So um, we've got an angle. We've got a side. And we haven't got a side. So right, Sokotoa. And we'll tick off what we got, shall we? We need two of any three. So here's the angle. Here's the opposite. This is the hypotenuse, agreed. And this would be the adjacent as far as that angle is concerned. So tick off what we've got. We've got the adjacent. So we've got that one and that one. Right? And then we've also got the angle. So we can find the tan, the cos, and the sine of it. And we want the opposite. So look at these. We need two of any three. We can't use that one. We can use the cosine, but that would give us the hypotenuse, which we don't want. But here, two of any three, which we've got, so we can use that one, and it will give us the opposite, the one unknown. So let's use the tangent then. So here, tan of 1.3 in radians is equal to O over A, isn't it? The opposite over the adjacent, which is 4. So the opposite, which is PR, I'll write in PR now equals 4 times tan 1.3. Let's type that in um, in a calculator. Make sure we're in radians mode. So shift mode, radians number 4. Uh, cancel. Now we should be in radians. Yeah, we are. So 4 times tan 1.3. 4 times tan 1.3 in radians, close bracket, equals... 14.4084. So 14.408 will do, I think. That's sufficiently accurate, I would have thought. That's the length PR then, 14.408. So this is 14.408. So we can work out the area. Area of OPR now. So since we can do that, why not? It's half base times height, isn't it? Because it's a right angle triangle. Half base which was 14.408 times the height which is 4 which is going to be let's just do it on the calculator uh, a half times 4 is 2 so I just put 2 times 14.408 and then we get the answer 28.816 so there's our area, our total area of the big triangle. Now the other problem is we've got to work out the area of this little sector. Right. So it's again, it's a fraction of a circle, but this time it's the fraction of the area. If you think about the area of this circle as a whole circle, it's pi r squared. So area, so the area of sector is equal to a fraction of the circle. Uh, so it'll be pi r squared, right, will be the area of the circle, fraction of, so what fraction of this whole area do we want? Well, it's, as a fraction, it's going to be, the radian is 1.3, parts of, the fraction is, the whole circle is 2 pi radians, isn't it? So it's that much as a fraction of the area of the whole circle. r is 4, so I'm going to put 4 in here. Right, and tap this in the calculator. Well, I can cancel by pi top and bottom. And you're going to have 1.3. That's 16 over 2, which is 8. So it's times 8. So 1.3 times 8. So let's get our calculator then. Made life easy for ourselves there. Rather than tapping in a lot, lot of stuff. You get that. 10.4. So area of... So area... Shaded area then 
equals well it will be um, the big area which we worked out at 28.816 take away the smaller area 10.4 equals uh, okay so it's 28.816 take away 10.4 calculator 28.816 take away 10.4 yeah equals and we get the decimal 18.416 so we'll do it to 1 dp now at the end centimeters squared it is and that was to 1 dp P. Sorry, uh, not quite enough room there. One dp. All right, then. Eighteen point four centimeters squared is the answer. So let's just run through that very briefly. Then here we had a right angle triangle. We know the area of a right angle triangle is half base times the height. So we needed to get this length here to work out this total area. We needed the total area because we were working at the area of the shaded region, which is the difference between. You can cut this sector off this total area. So chances are we're going to need to work out this big section here. So we needed that side and we got that from the right angle triangle property. We filled it in. Here's the angle. This is opposite so we labelled it the opposite, the angle in question. This is the hypotenuse. This is the adjacent. We wrote, so, we wrote Sokotoa. We ticked off what we had. We had the angle in question. Sine, cos and tan of it then would be no problem. We didn't have the hypotenuse. We didn't have the opposite but we had the adjacent so I ticked that off. Did that. And then we need two of any three. We could have used cosine, but that would have given us the hypotenuse. But we had two of three of the tangent, and we can see there you can get the opposite, can't you? Which is what we wanted. So using the tangent then, we said the tan of the angle was the opposite over the adjacent. Move the four up, the opposite was PR, so put that in, and it was four tan 1.3, which was 14.408. We kept it nice and accurate. So area then was, uh, of the triangle, the big triangle OPR, was half base, which is the 14.408, times the height 4, tap it in the calculator and you get that, centimetres squared. The area of the sector then, well, the area of a whole circle is pi r squared. So it's this fraction of the circle, isn't it, in terms of an area. So as a fraction, this was 1.3 of a whole circle, 2.2 pi. So here's our fraction of the circle. Of is times, the circle is pi r squared, that's the area of the whole circle. Fraction of the circle. We use this phrase all the way through this problem. The area of the whole circle is pi r squared, 4 is the radius, so that's 16 over 2. The pi's cancel, you get 8 times 1.3, 10.4. So the shaded area then, we worked out this little cut off area here. We knew the whole triangle. The whole triangle less this cut off area corresponds to the shaded area. So here's the whole triangle, here's the shade is the cut off piece. What you're left with is the shaded area, aren't you? We worked that out to be eighteen point four centimeters squared. So that's good. That completes question nine then, and we've gone through all nine questions piece by piece. So hopefully uh you got something from the, this uh practice C two paper. Okay then? So I'll see you in the next paper or one of my colleagues will. Cheers.